Hello. Well, uh, I'm going to try and keep this very short um, because, well, as of today, the movie theaters are opening. Um, and in particular, uh, Cinemark Theaters, which is a theater chain I often frequent. Um, now, apparently, throughout the months, throughout Texas and also some parts of Florida, I saw theaters were open, and uh, I noticed that last week I got a notification, or an email, I should say, uh, from Cinemark that uh, theaters uh, in Iowa are opening, and particularly one I frequent quite a bit. Um, now they're uh, going to just show some old films like from the 70s, 80s, you know, some uh, anniversary films. I mean, at the end of this month, they're going to show Airplane because that turns 40 this year. Um, they were supposed to show, back in May, Gladiator, and in April, Braveheart. Um, I forget exactly what was supposed to show in March, but basically if every single movie from, like, March that wasn't shown until, like, July. They are going to have to try and find a way to, uh, make sure all those movies are shown before this entire year is over, because it's the 20th anniversary of Gladiator and the 25th anniversary of Braveheart. Wouldn't make sense to have those anniversaries screen next year when it's not the 25th or 20th anniversary of those films. Um, I have no clue when that's going to happen, but uh, they're trying to reschedule, and I'm sure, you know, as theaters reopen, states, as states and cities open throughout this country, they're going to figure that out. I'm happy they're opening now. Um, obviously, I, w I would have preferred uh, sooner since, you know, again, you know, Iowa uh, was one of the very first states to reopen, and we've not had to reclose. Um, cases have really gone down overall. People have gotten better, and while there might, you know, still are a good number of people who have this virus at the same time it's dropping drastically as each week goes on. Uh, so, you know, and I know that goes for other places throughout this country too. So, you know, it's not just Iowa. Um, but I hope this is a good sign for other uh states and cities in America. Um, Tenant is coming out in September. Uh, you know, it's interesting how that film is going to be released internationally, internationally before America. And some of the places that they're going to open at the end of this month, uh, I've followed some people like through you know, YouTube and other places. And some of those places that are going to reopen to show Tenet, at least the last I knew, some of those places are still closed, and who knows when they are going to open. Of course, you know, I, I'm not totally uh, all involved with international news, because, you know, what's going on in America, you know, a bit more focused on that, and don't really get much uh, outside news often these days. Um, uh, at least nothing regarding lockdowns or anything. So, you know, just because I haven't heard any news of uh, any openings, so, you know, that makes sense for certain theaters to reopen and 
show new movies like Tenet. I don't know. Um, but, you know, if you're somebody who uh, watches my channel but is an international viewer, you know, not from America, well, if uh, theaters have been open, um, that's, uh, you know, that's cool, that's great. Um, I just have not, obviously, heard of this, um, but I think it's good uh, for this, uh, for all of this, you know, um, want to see Tenet on the big screen. A lot of people were thinking should just go straight to streaming. But Tenet is like one of those movies. Was like if you see it streaming for the very first time, it's like it, that. It would just seem to be kind of like a big waste, since like it's this big spectacle like film, and yet you never really got a chance to see it on the big screen. So the impact wouldn't be as huge. Um, I'm glad that uh, they're ensuring that Tenet will be in theaters. Um, uh, I know some films have just decided just to be streaming instead of being in theaters. Um, though, with theaters now opening, maybe, you know, hopefully other films will now uh, uh, think about... Uh, what they're going to do if they haven't already decided to be just strictly streaming or, you know, if it's sort of still up in the air for some movies. Uh, pretty sure Warner, uh, Warner Brothers is also going to release Wonder Woman on the big screen. Um, I'm pretty sure, you know, Black Widow, another big film, is also going to be in theaters. Um, and I'm pretty sure Dune will still be on the big screen also. But that comes out like in December. Um, I, obviously, I'm more excited for Tenet, but uh, so that's good news uh, for everybody who loves going to the theater for uh, just in general. Um, and also um, for Cinemark, they're offering just discounts for ticket prices and. You go you get food and stuff. Yeah, so if you have like a part of the movie club that they have, they offer, um, where you can get discounts and all that good stuff. Um, so on top of that, you also get um, all of the. Um, you also get this new this, these discounts to help try and get people back into the theaters. Um, now, uh, I don't know about seeing any of the films at certain times, honestly. Um, some are a bit late at night, like later than I would like to see films. You know, I don't know. I kind of like to see some movies midday or so. Um, well, that's me. You know, I like to go when there's not many people. And while I'm sure people will argue, well, you know, theaters haven't been open since March, doubt there's going to be a big rush of people to go to the theaters. And, you know, that's quite true. But you never know. There could be an old film that so many people just really want to see on the big screen. So they'll just go out and... Yeah, I find for myself, if I go to a theater in the mid like, uh, around the middle of the day or so, um, uh, uh, there's not too many people at the theater um, compared to a little later on. I don't know. Maybe it's just the theater I go to. Uh, that could be. But, you know, uh, and some of these older films, not many people want to see screen you know 
while people do love like Jaws, which they, which they aren't necessarily gonna show where my theater is. It's really weird. They're gonna show some movies, but not others. They've listed for months, but then months went on with no theaters opening. So it's like those those came and went and have no. At this point in time, they're not gonna reshow those movies again. So it's like I guess Jaws came and went, but. I never had a chance to see it on the big screen again. Because I've seen it on the big screen before, and you know, and I love Jaws. Um, apparently, also, they're going to show The Empire Strikes Back. Don't know if they're going to be doing that again. They're going to be showing uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Jurassic Park, uh, and some other movies. Um, they're also going to apparently show The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight Rises at some point earlier this year uh, yeah but you know uh, hopefully uh, many of these films in my area or that were said to gonna be shown at some at one point in my area will be shown as the weeks go on and maybe in your area, too, if they haven't already, you know. I know some theaters, you know, were already open, so perhaps all those movies have already come and gone. Maybe they'll just now just sort of repeat some of those here and there. Um, Back to the Future is also going to be shown on the big screen, because it's like uh, 35 years old, I believe. Yeah. So... There's that. Um, yeah. So that's cool. Um, I'll definitely keep an eye out to see what's going on with, regarding uh, theaters and the old films that they're going to show. See what's really catches my interest uh, enough to really want to go to the theater. Uh, Obviously, you know, Tenet, when that comes out. Uh, so, yeah. And, you know, regarding this whole stay six feet away from each other and all that, again, the theater seems to be the best place for that, you know. You're in a group of people that's like anywhere you know, from like three or four people, including yourself. You know, there's going to be two empty uh, seats. Uh, between the last person in your group and then the first person in the next group. You know. That seems to be probably the best uh, way of uh, keeping a distance uh, for whoever. However this will last, I don't know. Certain places will probably uh, ease back uh, as time goes on. Um, I would imagine with things like that, uh, uh, states like Iowa and other places that have reopened and had no problems, I would think they would be among the first to ease back, like distance and all that as time goes on a bit faster, but then again, who knows? Uh, just because you think that would make uh, some sense, that doesn't always that isn't always the case, so it doesn't always pan out uh, like that, but you never know. I'm glad that movie theaters are reopening and they're going to be showing old films again. Um, I find uh, I like to see older movies on the big screen more than newer films. I guess that just sort of shows the state of the film industry overall so many reboots and remakes and so many comic book and superhero films it's kind of like it just ease back <laughs> on all of this can we have more original films it's like you know yeah you have like Tenet but you know it's, you know Christopher Nolan's one of those rare directors in the industry who is in Hollywood but he's able to basically make his own indie art house like films with the 
budget of a blockbuster. Um, I would say David Fincher is another one of those working today. Um, there's others you could, but those are just two of the notable ones that come to mind. Um, but, you know, it's, it's interesting, though, of how things are right now. But, you know, I will say uh, this year has been pretty good for me, honestly. Uh, I know for many people it's not the greatest for obvious reasons, but, you know, uh, aside from the theaters being closed and me unsure when they're going to reopen, life has just pretty much gone as normal for me, so... I think that's, at least that's good for where I live, as well as other people who live in this city and state, and also other states and places that have reopened, as well as other countries. I know some other countries have reopened and stuff, and things are, have basically gone on as, nor gone on as normal. Um, so, <clears throat> you know... And there are though are people, or and who haven't had the greatest year. Uh, friends, family been sick. Maybe they have been sick, and uh, you know, yeah. I know this does affect people very differently. Um, some people might have had it, felt exactly no symptoms, went on as normal just fine and then just left left them without them ever knowing they had it only when you do some tests to see if you were positive at one point but now you don't have it um, you know, there's a lot more testing and there's a lot more things that can be done to uh, fight all this so things are getting a lot better um, so you know always remain optimistic uh, it's best to look on the bright side of things, even when things don't seem to always look the happiest. Um, uh, I know for some people, obviously, during these times, it'd be very difficult to do, but, you know, it is important to try and look on the bright side. Um, but, you know, it's really all I wanted to say. Uh, theaters are reopening. Uh, I'm sure I'll probably see an old film or two at some point, um, what, since, you know, new movies are going to just start to, uh, be released in the coming weeks, and, uh, yeah. I can't, uh, wait for the new films, as well as possibly seeing an older film or two, and, uh, yeah, hope you're all having a great day, a great weekend, and a great week, see you all next time.